Hey everyone, welcome to week 14 of 52 Reason and Record Tips. I'm James Bernard. I'm wearing my Rebirth t-shirt this week. I'm very happy and excited that we released that for iPhone. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. It's way cool and I've been using it a lot. So in this week's episode, I want to show you how to route an audio signal into the Thor synthesizer so that you can process it. I've had a lot of questions on this and most people that I've talked to have difficulty understanding how to make use of the filters, shaper, and effects of Thor. And I hope that this video helps you understand how to connect it and get it to work properly. I'm gonna be using Record for this tutorial, but of course, everything that I do with Thor can also be applied to Reason version four as well. So there's a lot of patching and routing to do here, so let's get right into it. The first thing you need to know is that the audio signal routed into Thor has to be told where you want it to go. Just connecting an audio signal into the audio inputs on the back of the device will not produce any results without defining where those inputs are going to be sent once they are connected. This is done using the modulation matrix, which is at the bottom of the Thor panel. You need to select the audio inputs as the source and then designate where you want them to be routed as the destination. Remember to set the amount to a level of 100 if you want full volume coming in, or less than that if you don't want full volume. The easiest thing to do is to route audio into the global section to the right of Thor if you're looking to just use a filter or apply the course or delay. That's because the global section, which includes filter 3, is always on and has stereo inputs and outputs. As you can see, when I select filter 3 as the destination in the modulation matrix, you can see a left input and a right input. Whatever is sent to filter three passes on to the chorus and the delay sections as well. To route audio into either filter one and two or the shaper section, we need to understand the structure of the synth a little bit better. Filters one and two are mono filters and are available per voice of the overall polyphony of the synth and what it's set to. Also, they require a MIDI trigger to enable audio to pass through them, which is very much like how it would work if you were to connect audio to any vintage analog synthesizer, which had an audio input on the back. To trigger those filters, I usually just use the step sequencer with a step length of 1, a gate length of 100%, and run mode set to repeat. This way, when you press play on the sequencer, it will trigger the step sequencer and trigger the gate to open up the filter inputs. Also, make sure you don't have any oscillator types selected in the oscillator section if you only want to hear the audio inputs. Now you can route the audio inputs you connected to filter one and two, and also access the shaper by pressing this button. Be aware that this entire section is monophonic. So if what you're looking to do is process a stereo sound through these filters or the shaper and keep it stereo on the output, you would need to actually create two Thors and tweak their settings exactly the same. I usually just pack them into a combinator and assign some of the rotaries and buttons to the parameters I would most likely tweak, like this example.
I also suggest experimenting with the audio as a modulation source as well, instead of just filtering. For example, drums modulating the pitch of a sawtooth oscillator can give some really interesting and wacky results. Try out a few different things. I've created a couple of quick templates with Thor already routed for the Global In Filter 3N effects, the Mono Filter 1 and 2 and Shaper inputs, and a Stereo Filter 1 and 2 and Shaper input as well. And you can download and explore those from the link that you can see here. Well, that's it for this week. And I'm on a plane to Stockholm next week. So next week's episode will be right from the offices at Propellerhead headquarters in Stockholm. See you next week. Bye.